I'm Diana. I'm Dan. I got involved in this project through Emma. She explained like her whole like vision about all the art, going from art and then music, dance, the whole thing. And it just sounded really interesting. Nothing like I'd done before, I don't think, like with everything. I knew Emma um, um, a long time ago and we, we haven't seen each other for a really long time. And so I just got this really beautiful tech saying, hi, I don't suppose you want to do this project. <laughs> so I was like, sure. And as always, pretty much saying yes to something that you don't really know what it is until you're in the studio and you're like, oh, it's this, fine, yeah. <laughs> and I'm dancing again in this with you here, yeah. Uh, my name is Teresa and I am a teacher. I teach fashion, art and textiles. The first I heard of it was when we were in class and preparing for the show. I heard about it through the First Dance Studio website. I saw that they were running some art classes and read up about the vision project and it was something that seemed really interesting and something I'd like to do. Well, I'm a member of First Art Studios, so Emma has been teaching me dance for a long time and it was basically through her. So I've been dancing for many years with First Art Studios, so of course it was Emma Brewer who then told us about the Vision Project and asked who wanted to be involved. And my hand was up straight away. At the workshops I decided to take part in was the singing, the dance, and the Acrylics Art Workshop. With the workshops, I didn't actually do the workshops because I was doing the costumes, so um, I concentrated on those and the actual sort of rehearsal for, for performing. I did all of them, <laughs> so that's quite a few. <laughs> so I did clay, watercolours, acrylics. I also was involved in the dance and the singing. The experience I took away from them was just something, or oh, just out of this world really, is something I, for some of them, I'd never experienced before, especially the singing. And I just, an amazing experience just really boosted my confidence in a lot of things that I've done and they have new experiences as well. I took part in the watercolour workshop. I was actually a bit late to be involved in the others because I would have loved the acrylic and the clay as well. But the watercolour workshop, what I took away from that, just the freedom to express yourself. I'd never worked with watercolour before. And it was so joyful just working with Jo Allen um, and working with an amazing group of ladies to create an amazing piece of work and just how um, freeing it can be and, and how much fun it can be. I think that was one of my favourite elements because um, I would never have in my life dreamt that rolling up some piece of sheet into a sort of rose shaped thing and then dipping it in paint and putting it on the paper would actually produce an image that, was, that you could then draw with and paint over. So learning techniques like that was lovely. I, I think I was better with watercolours because it, um, it was more specific. Um, there were more definite things like a pot of lavender and you know, some flowers and you know, trees um, compared to the, the acrylics, um, which was to interpret the dance. And I found that really hard. Um, it's not something I've done before. So although I was thinking flow, um, I don't think I made much of a good flow about it. <laughs> I think it's wonderful to get involved with something that you've either not done before at all or haven't done for a long time. And to do all these things with your dance colleagues and in fact new people as well, which I hadn't met before you know, in one of the paint workshops. It was, it was, yeah, it's quite inspiring. So I hadn't been dancing that much uh, before this project. So I had to consider like whether I could even do it. <laughs> but it's been really nice to 
sort of reconnect with a, a style of dancing that uh, was pretty much how I started, actually. Because I've been working a lot more in theatre now. It's a very different style, and so Emma was like, reintroducing these types of movements that I haven't done for ages, but my body was like, oh yeah, I know this. We've yeah, done this loads. So it's been really nice and, and a real testament to the body remembers, right? Like it remembers. You just know, might need a bit more time to warm up and <laughs> rest, <laughs> rest, lay down for a couple of days afterwards. But no, it's been gorgeous. It's been really nice, yeah. Wow. Well, to start off with, working with Emma has been so nice. She makes everything so comfortable, so easy in the room. Like, it's so encouraging and it just makes you want to work even harder. I did take part in the dance piece for the Vision Project. There's always a challenge to them and for me it's always remembering the piece. I've never really done contemporary before. I love ballet, I'm classically trained. Um, and I just thought it would be good to challenge myself and try something new. They were good, they were good. And because they were well broken down, yes, we were able to learn them step by step. Um, so it was a good environment. What was I found was particularly um, inspiring was actually dancing to music that I'd sung. That was really quite surreal, but you just let yourself go and just got into it from that, and the rehearsals were really good. Just listening to the music, I didn't really know how to take the music to start with, because it's so different, but listening to it through the process sticks in your head, that's for sure. It's like hearing the different sections, and it's not necessarily got like a set like rhythm. There's no kind of like set counts, which is nice as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's been yeah, just really comfortable. It was such a beautiful piece of music and the joy that you felt whilst dancing to that music, the fun of the class, and also just met some new people, some in, yeah, just lovely to meet some new people and dance with old friends. I really enjoyed being part of the dance. I always thought I would never be a fan of it because it is um, the movement, although it's very flowing and very soft, the movement is very different than ballet. Um, and your body positioning is actually quite different as well, even though it is a very graceful look. But actually, I loved it. Whether that's because I'm older and wiser, um, I don't know, but I absolutely loved, just loved doing it. I think one of Emma's great skills, of which there are many, mm. is her ability to create a nurturing and, and welcoming environment. And you see that in everything that Emma does. Us getting to perform the section of this as, as a bigger show with other people that Emma works with, you see that warmth and that enthusiasm and the joy which I think can be really lacking sometimes in some things, especially when it's like high pressure, but somehow Emma keeps the joy front and center. And so actually she makes it incredibly easy to do well because we feel comfortable and we feel uh, valued and that's incredible. The dance piece is like quite a, you can interpret it your own, your own way for sure. I know Emma was um, inspired by nature and it all sort of fed it, it, each other. I mean, hence why we're here in this beautiful surroundings. Um, and I think the further along we got, the more themes of like creation and the genderedness of it means that we, you, you can't not think of like Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden and all of that. And I think those things are probably in there, but I, I wouldn't want to say that that's what the dance is, but I think there's very definitely something about nature, cycles, the connection of things coming together and growing. Yeah, all of those things. Mm. The performance in April was so many different things for me because I was choreographing as well. Throwing this one in at the end 
was just like an extra opportunity for me to be like, oh, I don't have to worry about anyone else here because it's not my choreography. <laughs> and I can just dance and do what I know I need to do. But it was really, really enjoyable because after COVID, I have not performed in way too long. I did intend the April showcase and for me, uh, particularly watching the dance, it just brought all the emotions, which was a sense of freedom, um, belonging, and just kind of being a child again. It really took your breath away. Um, it was beautifully danced. The interpretation was amazing. It was fantastic. It was wonderful because having sung the piece of music, to then watch these two beautiful dancers interpret it, and sing along to the music that we had been involved in was just lovely. I actually watched from the wings because I was on next. I was in one of the numbers that was on next. So I always caught the last bit as we were waiting to go on. Uh, the music was just stunning. And just to lose yourself in that piece, it was just so calm and it was beautiful to watch. I hadn't performed for, for what, two and a half years or something. I didn't even know if I wanted to be in a theater. So that was a whole, I didn't know, what am I gonna do when I walk out in front of an audience? Am I gonna just walk out, nope, and just walk straight back out again? <laughs> so I didn't know, but I just looked to you being all like stoic and on it and I'm doing this yeah. and there and boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, okay, okay, here we go. If she can do it, I can do it, come on. So yeah, it's just, it's amazing, isn't it? This, this way that we uh, mutually support each other without fully knowing the extent <laughs> of what we're dealing yeah. with. But to be in a theatre with a group of people both in the audience and so many people backstage as well was a significant thing. Well, as we were doing the rehearsals and was listening to the piece, Emma had said about doing some of the costumes and so I went home and I designed four pieces um, and I made up just two mocks, sort of prototypes to see how we would feel about it. So it was a case then of looking at how many we had what sizes people were, and I tried to fit it into three categories so that um, I wasn't having to make 30 different pattern pieces. Um, and then kept it very simple so that it was just, we were able to put it on, tie it around our necks, and they could be adjusted on the day if needed. The whole point was it could fit a multitude of people, it could flow with the movement of the dance, and. It, it had an effective look and fitted with music. Filming on location, we filmed at the Harry Edwards Sanctuary, which is such a beautiful, peaceful location. It was just right for the piece. It was um, quite romantic, I would say, being out in these beautiful fields with lovely trees, views across the downs, and our floaty dresses that uh, were made for us. It was a beautiful day, it was really hot, just awe-inspiring, it was lovely and it was just really different being filming outside rather than dancing on a, straight, on a stage. But the downside was that it was, could have been quite hazardous because it was not even ground and there were a few potholes, so it was quite strenuous on the calves. There were some challenges, we were up a slope and having to dance on a slope rather than a flat dance floor was a bit of a challenge. When we were dancing, we were on a, on a hill and we had to do some turns and that was quite interesting, trying to maintain your balance. I think dancing on stage just feels natural because I've been doing it for so long. But dancing like with such a nice like feel and like background, that probably looks better than we do. Um, <laughs> I feel like you don't have to try and impress anyone when there's no one watching you. It's quite amazing to be able to do it in two totally different contexts. I think there's an excitement in, in doing something live with an audience. There's kind of a thrill that you're like, right, here we go, this is it. I think here we might understand more of the links between what we've made and the, and the nature around us yeah. and we'll be like oh <laughs> oh yeah it was just so nice 
to be outside. I mean, the whole piece was created around freedom, which suggests outside. We were so lucky with the weather, um, even got the breeze in the right place, the sun came out in the right place, and it really just brought the whole piece alive. Freedom, to me, I always link it back to dance because it's such mm. like a safe space for me to be in. So I think it's freedom of expressing myself through movement. It, I suppose what it's making me think about is um, art. Come on, let's get big here. Because it's not just us doing dance. There's like costume and painting and film and there's the music and singing. And, and I suppose you're making me think about expression in projects like this where people are invited to bring themselves to find a way to express something which may not be uh, easily uh, talked about, <laughs> like now. But there is something quite utopian about this kind of ability to express and, and feel the freedom within that. So sometimes I felt quite frustrated because I thought, oh, I'm useless at this. I mean, I wasn't useless, but I wasn't as, uh, you know, like artistic or as productive I wanted to be, as I wanted to be. So it did, it did sort of show me what my boundaries were, but it also showed me some things that I didn't think I would be much good at and seemed to work out quite well. So just knowing a bit more about yourself, I think, is part of it. What would you say to anyone wanting to get involved in a project like this? Just go for it. Absolutely, just go for it. Just You never know what you can achieve. And it doesn't matter how old you are. You just be part of a group, part of an experience. And just, yeah, just let yourself go. I would just say you have to be prepared, be prepared to, to feel love and to give love. I think you're taking part in something that will, will change you. I just felt really loved, felt accepted. I was able to just experience joy and just felt like a child again, really. And even now, I just feel a bit emotional. I'm still in touch with lots of the ladies that took part in some of the activities. Just do it. Definitely just do it. Um, even if it's one piece, it doesn't have to be everything. But I think any opportunity that you come across, especially if you haven't done it before, it's the only way to find out whether you've got a new interest or a new talent to, to absorb. Yeah, just go for it, it's great fun. I think be brave um, because you lose yourself. It's actually a fantastic thing to do if someone is recovering from trauma or healing from anything. It's a fantastic way to just come and distract yourself and be in that moment and learn mindfulness and actually enjoy those moments and feel what you're doing. So just be brave and don't worry about anybody else because everybody's lost in their own little moment and come and be part of it. I think there's a, f there's a few highlights, I would say, meeting Dan because it's just nice to be in a room with someone that kind of gets it. Mm. Um, that was definitely one because it's like a click, which felt mm. just nice and comfy. Second, I think mm. working with Emma because I've known Emma for so long. Well, I was so young when I first met Emma. I was probably 14, 15. Now I'm teaching for her studio and now I'm also working with her collectively as well. So it's, yeah, I think that as well. It's really nice. Coming into the, to the rehearsal with the, the company of dancers and everyone's doing the movement that we've been doing mm -hmm. for a while now. And Emma's reminded me quite how much I love, enjoy and appreciate um, collective community m movement slash action. Like, I, I kind of love the fact that people come together and, and just do it for the love and the passion and work really hard as well. I just find that amazing, which you have and Emma has, and you and you and you and you and you. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, passion, joy, joy.